Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this edition of Meal Prep, I have here, I'm gonna show you a bunch of things, I'm gonna run through them. So in this pan, I cut up three cloves of garlic, one small shallot, I have a squeeze of mustard, a dash of reduced sodium soy sauce, so you could use tamari if you're gluten free, I have a can of rinsed and drained reduced sodium chickpeas, a few white button mushrooms, one tomato, half of a green bell pepper. Feel free to leave that out if you're not into it. I just added it for some color. And then I added for seasoning some smoked paprika and um, za'atar seasoning and also sumac. So this is cooking down. It's actually gotten some good color because I raised the heat and to this I'm going to add a bunch of baby spinach and let that wilt down so the baby spinach I have is here not that the brand matters but really that's what it is so I'm gonna just keep adding handfuls of this and as you know spinach definitely wilts down but it gives you your greens it adds a whole bunch of vitamins and calcium and iron and all those good things to your meal so that's that I'll keep adding that and I'll take you over to this this is a few different kinds of squash so there's yellow squash in there and there's this striped green and white squash cherry or grape tomatoes and all I added to that was Trader Joe's seasoning no oil let me just show you the Trader Joe's seasoning I used on that and I let it roast at 350 until it got some color uh, let me show you the seasoning while you look at the next dish here Okay, so the seasoning I used on that squash is, oh, here it is, the 21 seasoning salute, if it ever focuses. There it is. Okay, and then here I have roasted cauliflower. Uh, this has turmeric, black pepper, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and it was all mixed together and then laid out on a sheet pan and roasted until it got the color that you see now. And here I have the purple Japanese yam and again the same seasoning blend as the cauliflower although I did OD a little bit on the turmeric but use less turmeric so it doesn't get a little powdery on your food so that's this right here that's the cauliflower I'm also prepping to make the Shirazi salad that I showed you in the last meal prep video oh and here I have steamed uh, eggplant with just a little bit of sea salt uh, steamed on top of the stove in the same pan that you see the chickpeas happening in uh, and low heat until the eggplant and I did peel the eggplant sometimes I use the eggplant with the skin on it but I peeled it this time and then in the fridge I have steamed um, steamed plantains and I'll also make the black rice that you have seen in a previous video I'm planning on making that and then obviously any additions throughout the week if I come short uh, on food because I do cook for myself and for my father so sometimes we run out of meal prep or sometimes he just doesn't like my meal prep because he eats he does not eat a plant-based diet so he incorporates other things and just eats these items as side dishes I eat them as my main meals so you see now here the um, spinach has wilted down oh and by the way I'm, I'm going to also make um, my overnight oatmeal, uh, which I always, you know, always do. I have, I got my almond milk in this grocery shop that I did, and uh, that will be something I make uh, in addition to the black rice and the Shirazi salad. And then anything else throughout the week that's quick and easy, I will do. I really only like to turn on my oven once a week, if that, because honestly, it's so hot that I just don't want to. And who wants to I don't want to cook every day I don't know about you and I actually made a cauliflower crust pizza using cauliflower crust obviously and um, marinara sauce roasted garlic marinara sauce oregano and vegan mozzarella shreds from Trader Joe's I posted that on my Instagram um, and it was actually really delicious me and my dad ate that for dinner last night and he actually loved it and said it tastes just like pizza had no complaints about the consistency consistency of the crust or anything so 
highly recommend and I will bring that to in a video to you soon although it's not really a recipe video but I'll just show you my method of preparing it and how it came out it was super delicious and I highly recommend it and it's fun when you want to have a pizza night without having dairy because dairy is officially not in my diet and it just grosses me out to be honest um, and also I do not eat flour and the traditional like pizza stuff you know so I make my own now I'm gonna keep adding spinach to this because you can never have enough spinach or too much spinach and then I'll leave some of the spinach that I have remaining I had this huge two pound box um, and I'll make a salad with this for dinner for tonight and that's everything my cleanup is actually pretty minimal because I line everything with foil line everything with foil so I just have to wash this and just wash those there but I still line them with foil oh and I made I made cake that's obviously not for me but I still have to you know cook for other people and make you know keep other people in their own world without disturbing theirs just kind of trying to introduce them to my world where it's just healthier and happier I hope you enjoyed this meal prep I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on my next video bye